the Quran Lee app. Subscription cheaper than Netflix, encouraging Quran reading, modern, engaging, and fun. Download it today. That's a gen, yeah. <laughs> Calling all Muslim creatives, whether you are a video creator, animator, writer, poet, you now have the chance to exercise those wonderful creativity muscles and win some awesome prizes. Details on how to enter can be found below, courtesy of Narrative House. Asalaamu As Alaikum guys and welcome to another episode of Smile to Jannah. When it comes to sticking up for Palestinians. This is not something that is typically done by mainstream celebrities. Emma Watson, best known for playing Hermione Granger in the Harry Potter films, posted an image on Instagram showing a photograph of a pro-Palestinian protest with the banner Solidarity is a verb written across it. That anybody who defends the Palestinians in whatever dilute, inconspicuous, general way you will still be labeled as an anti-Semite. Well, Congress Weekly said your responsibility is to show that any critique of Zionism, if it comes from a non-Jew, is anti-Semitism. Let's have a look. Israel's current ambassador to the United Nations said, fiction may work in Harry Potter, but it does not work in reality. If it did, the magic used in the wizarding world could eliminate the evils of Hamas. <laughs> calm, calm yourself there mate, yeah? How come you also didn't mention that Harry Potter is fiction and Israel's legitimacy is also fiction? <laughs> and I don't get this. Is he implying that anybody who says anything positive about Palestinians is somehow supporting extremists? Are you implying all Palestinians are extremists? They're all Hamas? I mean what odd thing to say. And then Israel's former ambassador to the UN. <laughs> 10 points from Gryffindor for being an anti-Semite. My question is why only 10 points? Why not more? Is it because you know that it's absolute nonsense what you're saying? In the last couple of years we've seen scores of celebrities come out in defense of Palestinians and pretty much most of them have been labeled as anti-Semites, no matter who it is. And this is a strategy that is commonly used. But the reason why I was still adamant on posting this video is because I have said this in the past that celebrities pick certain activism issues that are conducive to their career and very few actually stand up for cases that will you know jeopardize their career and Emma is somebody that has done this yeah I was actually in in shock in surprise in awe the fact that it actually shows how genuine she is because let's face it if you are an actor or an actress speaking and standing in favor of Palestinians is not going to help your career but if somebody still does so anyway it shows that they are a genuine person. Much respect for Emma for posting this out and not deleting it. Mark Ruffalo, the actor who plays the Hulk, last time he put a post in favor of Palestinians, he then took it down. I apologized, yeah. So much for the Hulk. Hey, you've got Hermione for God's sake. Not really Hermione, you know. <laughs> not an idiot. <laughs> I'm Hermione Granger and you are Hamas. Hamas members, only Hamas. You have the Hamas, if they were Hamas, that Hamas leadership, those poor Hamas, Hamas is Hamas people, not the terror of Hamas. The Hamas leaders lies with Hamas. So you don't take responsibility for <coughs> any death of any Palestinian civilian because ultimately it's all Hamas's fault always. Yes, it is. That's a great get out of jail free card. Yes, okay. it is. All right, guys, let's leave it there. And don't forget to enter the competition by Narrative House. I'll leave the information in the description. I'll see you next time, inshallah. Assalamu alaikum.